Hey, um, hey guys, I don't know if anybody actually watches these news stuff, that the news posts that I put up, I mean really, but I just wanted to let you know about the state of Skeletor Plays, some of my other projects that I'm working on. Some of them are starting, are this close to being ready to go, and they're, and I'm excited about them, I like them. But, um, first off, and other things, but first off, Skeletor Plays. I'm not retiring it. Exactly. At the moment, I'm just not going to be starting any other new games. I'm going to be finishing up the series I'm currently on, and then just not starting anything else with them. And then I'm going to be putting him on the shelf for a while. As it's... I'm starting to not have as much fun with it as I used to. I'm thinking about actually starting a series, a Let's Play series, where I'm just me, just talking. And it should be more entertaining because I'm not thinking about what I should be saying in character. It's just me. We'll see how that works out. Um, I think for that I'll be playing one of my favorite console games of all time, and that is the role-playing game Chrono Trigger. So, there's that. Now, on to other projects. I have... There's something I'm working on, and I've had so much fun pitching it. My big problem right now is trying to decide what order I should put the episodes. I've got a lot of episodes planned, but I don't know when I should place each one. But it's a show called And That's How It Happened, where I'm going to be taking a look at events of history or concepts that came up during history, and it is explaining in my way, in my comedic way, how that could have happened. Or how it really happened, or it's it's fractured history, but uh, I thought I'd have some fun with it. I'm also thinking of doing an educational science program for kids, just just cause, and uh, I think that might be fun doing little uh, science experiments, do teaching lessons for. Uh, Little, little tiny science lessons for for kids. Maybe some other people will learn stuff too, but it's meant for children. And, uh, of course, I still intend to release a parody song every month. I, um, have one ready to go for next month already. And, um, uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be coming off of this recording and immediately nailing my next Skeletor plays because now I'm planning on trying to crank those out really quickly to start eliminating one of the two series. I think I'll get rid of Legend of Zelda first so you're probably gonna see a lot of Zelda videos <clears throat> in Pokemon Skeletor just hit Lavender Town for the first time. So I'll have... I'll have... It's like, that's a good place to put it on hiatus until I'm done with the uh, Zelda. And then it'd be nothing but Skeletor plays Pokemon. And I think that might retain people's attention a bit more. If they're not just plain sick of them, but, you know, views are any indication, yeah, they're getting sick of them. But, um, I still have a tuned in planned for, um, February. The Olympics are coming, so I figured, let's do something involving the Olympics. So, I'm actually going to be taking a look at the history 
of the Olympic mascot. It's like, I'm going to find all of them I can and tell you guys about it. Tell, tell you about them. And that, that might be fun. I think that was my idea, so I was like, yeah, let's do that. Well, that's pretty much it, so I'm going to let you go for now. And, uh, hope you guys have a great day, whenever you're seeing this. If you're seeing it, whatever. Even people who don't watch me, you have a great day, too. And, um, anyway, stay tuned, I guess.